Hello, Simmers of the World, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a very exciting announcement, and that is a new LP. Um, I am still continuing with my normal Sims 4 LP, but this one has a little bit of a twist. A lot of people are doing a Get to Work LP. Now, I don't actually have Get to Work installed on my computer at the moment, or um, yet. I don't have it, actually, but like... In the future, I know I'm going to get it. Just right now, I want to really embrace what The Sims 4 has to offer before I get an expansion. I doubt I'll be getting the Outdoor Tree expansion. It's just not for me. Eventually, I probably will, but at the moment, it's just, no, not right now. Okay, so anyways, this new LP is going to be starring this, this um, Sim, and her name is Skylar Knowington. Alright, Skylar was, as a kid, her parents tragically died in a car accident, and she was an only child. She was kind of, like, not dark, but, like, that girl and nobody talks to, a little bit weird, you know, just in that aspect, and, yeah, and her parents died. And she moved on to live with her grandmother. And just recently, she moved out of her grandmother's house and moved to an entirely new country, entirely new world, whatever you want to call it. And this is what's happened. So I was not actually planning on making this new LP until I made this sim. And it came with a whole story in my head about her, and I just had to make an LP about it because I thought it would be so much fun to explore, and I thought you guys would love to explore it with me. So, yeah. All right. Anyways, here's Skylar. I'm going to go through all of her traits first just because I think you guys want to know about her first. So, here's her voice. Master Plants are Pava. Okay. Here, she just has the normal walk because now the other walks fit her personality. Um, she is a public enemy. She's aspiring to be a criminal. Aspiring. That is one thing I really wanted to make possible with this sim. Aspiring to be a, a criminal. And she's also non-committal. No, she just doesn't want to be married. She really does, well, she does in her heart, but she just isn't a committed person, and she can't marry. It just, it will not happen. And she hates children, like, hates children. So, when she sees one walking on the street, doesn't really, ugh. And she's ambitious, because she really is aspiring to be... A criminal, which sounds so weird, but that is what she wants to be. A lot of people haven't really um, explored the criminal aspect on YouTube, and now we have get to work. Everybody wants to try all these new and cool um, jobs, but I really didn't get a chance to explore every single one yet. And I thought that I would make an LP exploring every single single job and once I've explored every single job you guys will see me with the get to work LP and you guys are gonna love it so yeah let's go through Skylar's um outfits so this oh also one thing with Skylar she's not the most confident sim she just lost her confidence over the years and yeah that's kind of life you know so here's her first outfit. I really love this outfit. Yeah, her first outfit, her second outfit right here. Um, my game is not really the best with custom content, so stuff like this happens. That's life. So here it is. She was never confident over her body, and she just learned to flaunt it as she got older. But she still, underneath all of her skin, knows she doesn't like her body or her appearance or herself, she's just not confident, confident, not confident enough. Her formal wear looks like this. 
athletic wear. She's not the athletic kind, but she will jump on a treadmill if she wants. Here is her sleepwear. Her party wear. And her swimwear. Alright, so we're gonna hop onto the game. Hop onto the game. Hop into the game. Um, Noington, basically. I'm gonna just change the image. Um, I don't know. I really honestly don't care. Okay, so. I feel like she would not move to Happy o uh, Willow Creek with, I don't know, kids and even less kids in Oasis Springs. I feel like she's just not for that life. I feel like Oasis Springs is the place to go for her. And also, you guys have um, not seen me play in Oasis Springs yet. She's a very careless person, doesn't really care about her parents that much or anything. So, um,. She's going to just live life, and she doesn't really care about how she lives in. She doesn't care about keeping it clean. She doesn't care about how pretty the furniture looks. She just doesn't care. And the house I want to get her, I actually saw, but I don't remember how it looks. Because honestly, she basically with my storyline, moved into whatever house she felt like moving into. Whatever house just looked fine for her, she moved into. I had a different house in mind. I'm going to go with this house right here. Because I feel like it's just the house that she could afford and the house that was just, just a house that was available. She didn't really care much about it. Okay, guys, so here's the house that we have decided to move into. I think it's cool. I don't know why. This is how it looks. Very different looking. Um, yeah, so we're going to pretend like she didn't buy the house looking like this and bought it a little bit differently. Little me building a little house. Not really building, I'm too lazy. But here's me kind of fixing the outside of the house. Kind of my least favorite part of watching when you're like watching it. Okie so. dokie, our jokey. So I'm fixing up my house a little bit. Um, I'm just fixing up the trim. And I kind of found it a challenge to get rid of the green part at the top and all the little squares. I didn't like that. I just wanted to make it like normal on the top, but I figured it out. And then I couldn't get rid of the green rim, but then I figured that out too. So that was cool. And then I did use um, a lot of uh, styled rooms. Deja vu, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I did that a lot. A lot of styled rooms, and I just kind of put them in the house myself because I never like actually legitimately placed the styled room in my house. And I haven't worked with The Sims 4 style rooms quite yet, so I thought I should, and that's what I did. And, um, one thing that I didn't figure out is that you can actually just look at a picture of the style room and place these things into your house, and I think I figured that out with the last room, which is kind of funny, but whatever. Um, next we're doing just a little dining area. Um, I think the house when it's finished came out really cute and like it really fits her personality as like I don't care. Mm -mm. I couldn't figure out a good place to put the trash can and I'm still not 100% loving where I put it but whatever. And the washroom I was gonna place right into the washroom but then I didn't want to deal with that little holy thing so I did this and it's just basic and I ended up making it smaller because I thought it was too big. Alright, her bedroom is nice, but it has that, like, cheap bed, as The Sims 4 game says. I really love that bed. I always give it to my Sims, and then it's, like, a cheap bed, and it kind of frustrates me a little bit, but whatever. And, like, I did, like, put the flooring in and all that, and I thought it was a cute little room. Like, I don't care kind of room. I thought it was pretty cute. And I did go for pretty much all the simplish stuff things like the cheaper rooms uh, except for the bedroom and even this this room I didn't go that 
cheap but I love the way it came out because I feel like it's really careless like whatever I'll just put a bunch of stuff in a room and hope for the best so that was nice I do end up taking that chair away in like future in this LP like it doesn't stay there the whole time um a TV goes there the TV is pretty awesome if you get to see it it's pretty cool and I'm just putting the door in and that's pretty much it so yeah okay guys so I actually did a little bit of building I didn't finish everything like I didn't do exactly what I wanted to do like I didn't do the outside or anything but this will do for now as you saw when I fast forward it I used a lot of like templates from the styled room because I wanted it to look really simple and clean and I'm not quite done with everything yet but it's nice for now so yep here's her house it's super duper cute and yeah she's basically gonna live in it I don't think much is gonna change over the time but you know this is the house <laughs> okay um so we're gonna play it and the first thing we want to do is actually join a career if it'll work Oh yes, I'm calling. Um, we're gonna join the criminal career, and yeah, we're going to go inside the house because yeah. And she wants to do mischief interactions as um her daily task, which is very very cool. So when people's walk by, we're gonna be a little bit mischief kind of zip. so this guy right here who are you why am I in this mode um this is who are you Don Lothorno we're gonna be a little bit mischievous with our friend Don Lothorno we're gonna start with a kind of a funny you know introduction just Basically, it just funny. Uh -huh. cool. <laughs> How you doing, yo? Very cool. Hey, nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Then we're going Hello. to kind of go in. Oh, not mean. Mister. We're going to give him a fake bad news. We're going to. He's not really liking it. We're gonna start a preposterous rumor. She's like, yeah, it's so much fun, yeah. We're going to invite him to a fake party. And we're going to lie about our career a little bit. And we will knock into the mischief. We will scare him a little bit. <laughs> Not really loving this. Complete. Alright, so we're completed the mischief. So yeah, that's cool. And what else do we have to do? We want to be disliked by two sins before we send me and Dracula. We can do that too. So we can kind of make Dawn one of our enemies. Basically, he came here at the wrong time, walked by my house while I was doing construction, and was honestly just annoying us. So this is what kind of is going to happen. Yeah, it's kind of funny. How do you think so myself? So we have been mean or mischievous to ten, not ten cents, ten times. Our notification wall is full. So we're just going to clear that. All right. One thing I just noticed we don't have is a computer. So I'm going to go get us one of those. One of these pre-designed style room type thing with jobbers like this one right here yeah we'll just buy this room and we'll just kind of add it 
to our home. And we'll actually make sure that the door oh no is right. No, 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 no. Not this. We're gonna make sure that the door has been deleted. And we'll take a door like one of these doors. And we'll actually put it in do 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 her bedroom right there. Eska. Why am I saying Eska? And then we'll kind of just take some of this and put it on there. Cool. So we'll see how that looks with the roof on it. Kind of a little bit messed up, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Okay. We now have our healthy computer room. So yeah. Fun, fun, fun. She is playing a game. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else we could do. It's 9 a.m. We could do something that we can dis be disliked by sin. That's what I want to have. She's angry. Children. Oh, yes. It's going to be fun. Ugh, children. Pretty much, I want to make her disliked by every single kid in this neighborhood. Is that possible? We're going to make it possible, guys. So these are two kids. Um, this is Alexander Goth and Emerson Bud Bundy. All right. So what are we going to do to these kids? We're going to be mean to them. Yeah. All right. We're going to be mean to them. So we're going to come up here and we're going to do a rude introduction to the both of them. Which is fun, always fun, always fun. She's gonna just come along. She's fuming right now when she sees these kids. She hates kids, especially near her house. What are you doing here? Is basically what she's saying. She's gonna yell at them. Yell at, um, scolds. Basically, just hate them, imply his mother is a llama. Because that's what you say every single day when you see him. You're going to mock his outfit a little bit. You are going to jeer. And we will just yell at him again. Whatever. Kind of make sure they both dislike us, basically. Um, yell out again. Scold him. Um, we will apply his mother in the llama. She just does not, she's not feeling these kids coming and talking to her. And she's not even giving them the chance to talk to them. She is basically just not having fun with it. So, yeah, her milestone has been completed. These kids dislike her. And, yeah, now she needs just two more sims to dislike her. And those will most likely be kids, but you never know with her. You just never know. What's she saying now? Chat. So she's trying to be their friend, but those are our enemies. So we're not going to deal with them, those pesky little kids. I should really get going now. See you later. Um, nobody cares because we don't like you. We are anyways going to travel because I don't know what else to do. I find something that she'll enjoy. It'll be kind of fun for us. So. Very cool. Is there even a computer in that room? Because I don't even see a computer. Probably going to just head off to her local park. Maybe learning some skills or something. Alrighty, so basically she is at the park and just chilling around. She's reading a magazine, it looks like. And yeah, just like discovering what's at the park. 
So we have to check her knees. They're all up at the moment. Um, she has decided to go to this little coffee, little bar, I don't know what this is. We could practice making drinks. We can kind of make a bartending and a little skill of hers. Maybe even make a part-time job of her as a bartender. I'm not sure if you can do that in this game. But, you know, we could just make that a skill of ours, being a bartender. It's like a fun thing that her personality would love. So, we're going to mix ology skills. I can't talk to We have acquired the mixology skill. And that seems super fun. So, this chick right here decided that she wants to come in here and just start dancing with her colorful shirt. Um, oh, now she wants to go to sleep. That's fine. Um, we could wake her up. Just do something to annoy her, you know? Wake her up. I feel like there's something that Skyler here would do. After she finishes practicing making some drinks, which is mischievous with this one here, she does look like someone who could be easily um, fooled. So they could have a nice time. She could do, do, do. Um, trick of the hand buzzer. She could claim to be a criminal mastermind. Just some mischievous things. Take um, confidence, and then maybe we could just kind of tell an outrageous story after that, and maybe kind of make her one of our friends because we don't want to be completely lonely, and it would just be funny if she made a friend. Um, as she makes us some drinks, which is nice. So, sus interests. Uh, ask about her day. Get to know her a little bit. And yeah, just make a friend. So, if we ever have a part, what in the world was he just doing? You. Yes, you. Is so, like her husband? What's her name? No, they're just like wearing the same shirt. But guys, did you guys see him? Oh, my life. What are you doing? His unibrow. What in the world? What in the world is actually going on at the moment? Somebody please tell me. So she has acquired the charisma skill. She's very outgoing, it looks like. So they're just going to keep on chatting up about life in general and all that. Fun stuff. Even though I have it on speed, it seems to be going by super slowly. So, you know, after this, I think she's going to kind of um, be super excited over her new skill of making tricks. And head off to an actual bar and see what she could do. So I think that'll be a fun thing that um, our friend Skylar can do here today. And yeah, so as soon as she's done with that, we will say goodbye to her. So she has reached level two of the mixology skill, which is fun. She's excited. So she'll probably now travel again to the bar because why not so we will go to rattlesnake juice okay so we are now at rattlesnake juice which is fun always fun i think my game is glitching a little bit and if you guys didn't know already i do have a plan for this game I do a plan, I do kind of have an idea of what I think is going to happen. Something that I've noticed with my game is when I run the game while running my camera, it is definitely a lot slower. So we are then going to tend the bar for a little bit, you know? Have fun and tend the bar. I think that'll be fun for her just to try out 
something new, and she's probably not the best at it, but that's life. It's only 4 o'clock, so not a lot of people are here. And actually, she has work today, which I did not know. So it starts in an hour, so she'll tend the bar until then, actually. Mm -hmm. And head off to the work, because... She's got to head to work. Which I'm not sure how I can send her to work. Is there like a button? Somewhere else matter. Children always nearby me. Alright guys, so Skylar is going to head off to work. And then I'm going to end the part, and in the next episode, I have something fun plan that I know you guys are going to love. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and bye, guys.